Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. As always, want to thank our patrons for your support. We couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you so very much. Again, exclusive videos over there, usually multiple times every week. And I'm going to start over here at the USGS, and let's start with an oddity. This is showing a 2.4 quake off the coast of Los Angeles at 0, 0.0 kilometers depth. So in other words, right at the surface. Um, I got to wonder, is, is this some sort of military missile test or something? Just curious. It hits me as really strange. It does. It does feel strange. I'm not getting any solid hits on it right now, but I would keep an eye on it. We have a lot going on. We have the eclipse coming right around the corner. People are on edge. Energy is on edge. So, yeah, hang on. Everything is on edge right now. Um, there is just so much going on, as I'm sure you're all well aware of. Uh, we do have a 6.1 that happened over in Indonesia. This was at 587.5 kilometers deep, so they say. Uh, a deep quake like that will usually produce a big one somewhere else, and we do have a 6.6 .6 that came in over in Tonga at 10 kilometers depth, so more shallow. Uh, there still could be something else coming, you know, of a magnitude 7 or better, so just be aware of that as well. Um, man, there is just so much going on. Israel's announced that they're going to respond to Iran's attack tonight. And the result will be seen by the entire Middle East. What does that mean exactly? And in case you missed it, um, Iran has responded uh, to what it views as Israeli aggression. Israel, again, has gone into Lebanon. Israel has also shelled Damascus and Syria. They've done that actually many times. But this was a pretty big salvo of perhaps about 200 or more missiles that came just raining down and the Iron Dome didn't get them all. Uh, the U.S. says that it stopped some missiles from hitting Israel. Jordan says that it stopped some missiles from hitting Israel. Israel as well. And yet, as this person, Stu Peter, says, looks like they turned the Iron Dome off again to let themselves be attacked so they can justify a, a full-scale war with Iran. And in case you haven't noticed, uh, the world is strongly divided on everything that is going on here. Uh, Neva Tim Air Base in Israel, it says it is completely destroyed. Again, all we could report is what people are saying. Uh, there are things that we can give you some first-hand info towards the end concerning uh, North Carolina and, and Tennessee. Um, but as far as out here um, and what's going on with Israel and the Middle Eastern War, which it's obviously going at bare minimum regional, even from a very conservative standpoint. But we, we do know this is obviously that WW number three. More than 25th generation F-35 fighter jets were destroyed in Israel. Say goodbye to your American tax money. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and there's an awful lot of people upset with that, where you know the military-industrial complex gets all the money, and people that are actually suffering get none or very, very small amount. Missile or missile fragments impacting uh, Tel Aviv. You know, some of the missiles that were hit by the Iron Dome, then you have shrapnel coming down all over the place. There was also what they are calling a terrorist attack with six or seven people injured uh, in Israel itself inside its borders. Um, yeah, this is pretty insane. It is pretty, uh, it feels really demonic. There's really nothing else you could say about it. Um, Meanwhile, Iran says its action is concluded unless the Israeli regime decides to invite further retaliation. Netanyahu says Iran made a big mistake and is going to pay for it. Common estimates show, show about 180 to 200 missiles, or about twice the size of the previous April attack. The waves of launches constituted the large, largest missile strike on Israel by Iran in history. 
Uh, the IRGC is saying 90% of their missiles successfully hit their targets. They also said that they hit only uh, military targets, where, of course, there are reports saying that they hit civilians. You know, again, in, in a wartime scenario, you cannot trust any side. That's the bottom line. Uh, the White House, of course, condemning the attack. And, you know, the road to WW3 and just absolute insanity continues to march forward. I'm right now I'm just blaming everything on that darn eclipse <laughs> you know I mean it's it, it's been proving that uh, the closer we get to it the more things are are getting fiery hot you know the less light that we are going to have I mean I'm just telling people when it comes to the eclipse uh, during that time don't be making major decisions having deep conversations stuff like that because something is going to get missed yeah, absolutely. Meanwhile, this report is saying that Netanyahu lifted off out of Israel, um, you know, to basically secure his own safety right before everything hit the fan. And Russia has demanded Israel to withdraw all their troops from Lebanon. As you know, China has also uh, spoken out against everything that Israel has done in recent times. And again, I want to just remind everybody, Netanyahu was pretty close to not being in power. Uh, it was looking as if you know the population was going to force him out in so many ways as you had over a million people in the streets, literally at his ho home, out in front of his home. And then uh, the Hamas thing happened. And then everything shifted. But when you really look at history, this happens like that all the time. There's always these things that happen that cause all hell to break loose and people forget about other things going on. Again, you know, when you're literally dodging bullets and rockets, uh, that does take priority. First, get yourself to safety. Over here, the Israeli embassy in Stockholm, Sweden, uh, shots fired outside of that. The world is getting um, so divided at a time when if we didn't have this power structure in place we would be coming together we would be working through all sorts of difficulties we would be seeing the error of our ways and the biggest error that we make is we allow the system to keep moving forward with the leadership it has which really is is just thrilled to see non-stop warfare because it means they're going to still be in their position they're going to still be profiteering from the military industrial complex and all the other side businesses that exist when people uh, suffer through wartime scenarios. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there, it's just a time where we all really need to buckle down and do our best to get along with one another to a very, very high degree. Um, a lot of belief systems and a lot of angst and a lot of uh, past traumas, sometimes you just have to set them down in order to get through some things. It just feels like this is going to be a mess coming up. Yeah, absolutely. And still, you know, thousands of people are passing through the U.S. border. Oh, where are you from, sir? Syria. Where are you from, sir? Lebanon. Where are you from, sir? Iran. Guess what they're going to be doing shortly. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you'd have to be brain dead not to see what's going on. And, you know, you have to really understand the priorities of this political system. This says the 82nd should have just taken off from Bragg right now, Fort Bragg, you know, 82nd Airborne, and be going to help the people in Asheville. Um, yeah. Here you go. I'm in the 82nd Airborne stationed in Fayetteville, North Carolina. We have guys in our unit with family in Western North Carolina trying to get to their family. Guys who are asking to put in passes to go help any way they can. They're all getting told no. Meanwhile, we got brief that we might be on standby because we're, we're going to have to go to the Middle East. This could not be any more orchestrated. They will be shipping them out, you watch. Uh, to the Middle East and and when they ship a whole bunch out and get as many away from here as possible They will trigger the sleeper cells and we will have just ourselves to uh, fend off those sleeper cells and worse <laughs> and Here you have well, you know, you could listen to his own words Here's the point. I'm going to be asking the American people to continue to help fund the needs of these people to help fund the, here's the point 
I'm going to be asking the American people to continue to help fund the needs of these people. Because all our tax dollars are going to war, death, and destruction. You know, it's, it's not insanity. It is truly showing you what the system is all about. It's never been for, for any of us. It's never been for the average person. Th these are the lines for gas in South Carolina. <sighs> oh, wow. And so we had um, briefing and updates from our, our good friend David Devine. Uh, and also, you know, we've been in contact with other people uh, in the areas close to, you know, ground zero over in Asheville. Um, it, it's just it's beyond words guys it, it really is beyond words um you know shoot i think i forgot to get a happy puppy for this one um and we're gonna have to dig it up i'm gonna have to find a happy puppy uh this is saying the most incomplete disaster response in u.s history 916 billion military budget that has i mean since the time i started doing videos on youtube th this is just ballooned beyond belief you know, and yet there's no help going there. You can see what they're saying here. There are there are people everywhere that no longer have life in them, and they're just laying everywhere in trees, in their cars, on the streets, in their yards. It's insane. It's it's beyond belief. You know, it's just. It, it really, I think, is, is shocking people. But like, you know, David was saying, you know, we're on our own now. <laughs> we are. It's just us. So again, we all have to come together and work together. A lot of people are realizing this. You know, the government serves a different master. It doesn't serve any of us. You know, sometimes when these really huge things happen in our lives, sometimes we are not able to mourn right away sometimes we have to get busy right away sometimes we have to step up and do the things uh right away whatever it takes and we're all gonna be leaning on each other from what it looks like because i don't see one word or one sentence or one phone call or any one person or group of people that are going to be able to get our government to come and help even though they could they don't want to that's that's just the whole cold hard truth they just simply do not want to and that leaves us with a lot of responsibility but that's what we have been doing for a very long time is telling people to please get ready you know at the cost of of a lot of things we've been doing that because it's, it's personal to us and we understand the gravity of how important it is just to get one family to get a little extra food just one family you know it doesn't uh take a whole lot of effort but if you can just do a little at a time or if you can even prepare for your neighbor you know get a little for yourself for your neighbor but i think we might have to put this mourning period in north carolina off for a little bit while we really get in there and help and work on trying to Make a difference. I don't know what it's going to take. Is it's not it, the the government doesn't care. You can call and you can scream and you can write all the things that you want to on X or anywhere, and, and they're not going to do anything. So I think we just that's the harshness that we need to face now. No, yeah, and it's completely purposeful. Now we showed this adorable otter helping the mama cats uh, recently. But boy, is it. Uh, appropriate you know again cross species helping each other and humanity can't do it and this little guy he's having fun any way he can you know um david was talking about uh and i'm sure he's going to give you updates on adapt 2030 he was um doing a video uh but we communicated several times today um just catching up with things it's really bad and there's there's no food uh, there's certain food stores that are gouging and and there's other ones that are doing just the opposite I mean, I, you know, he was two two totally different companies One of them is gouging and and is abs absolutely You know atrocious the other one is is letting people pay 
on like a an honor system take what you need and come back and pay when you can i'm oh my god you know this is going to be so telling for humanity it's going to tell where all of our hearts are where all of our priorities are this is this is the time when you know people are made or broken and and this is really the time uh for great soul searching and and really we can do so much good in this time and and let's see the cream rise to the top i feel that should be the focus yeah absolutely and so you know uh on, honestly again i i think that everybody should be doing whatever they can just to be ready um i i could feel like the power is going to be going off at any time uh you know we hope again that we have more time to prepare because you're never really ready when it hits when it hits close to home um just again it's obvious we are now uh, barely over a month away from uh that that s election process which i think a lot of people if they were to lay money on i i bet you there's more people saying that it's not going to take place than than are at this point at least those that live here in the u.s i, I agree you know so as always guys we look forward to your comments um thanks for your support we couldn't do it without you guys we're crazy busy also and yet we want to keep you guys up to date with this it's it's um been a challenging round but hey you know this is why we are here as you see this little guy oh this guy barks by the way um but yeah <laughs> adorable when you need a break just go look to nature Source bless and namaste. Namaste.